Lieutenant Wyatt. Hello, Nola. Uh, do you have a few minutes? Um, sure, yeah. Do you know Miss Lowry? No, I don't think we've met. Hi, Nola. I'm Brenda Lowry. Oh, hi. Nice hi, nice to meet you. Um, well, how can I help you? Uh, well, we just, uh, we'd like to talk to you for a few minutes. Uh. Oh, sure. Well, have a seat. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, can I get you coffee yeah, or no, anything? No, no, I'd like a cup, thanks. Uh, how do you take it? Black, please. Black. Okay. The fact is that we want to ask for your help. Oh, really? How can I help you? Are you planning to move back into the house on Thornway Road soon? Um, well, I, I don't know. I really haven't uh, thought about it, really. Well, it could be a great help to us, if you would. We need somebody in there to act as a, an observer for us. Observer of what? Well, they still haven't been able to track down Silas Crocker. And uh, it's very possible that your life may still be in danger. Now, the kidnappings of Alan Spaulding have been traced to men with whom Mr. McCord associated in the past. Mr. McCord? Yeah, I don't mean to accuse him of any complicity, but it would be a big help to us if we could have somebody in there to keep an eye on things for us, to let us know if, if anything unusual happens. If we're going to clear up this mystery that, that surrounds Mr. McCord and, and his housekeeper, we, well, we have to have somebody in there on the inside. Do you mean like a spy or... Oh, I couldn't do that. I, I like Mr. McCord. I... Uh, no, let you see what we're trying to do is have you help us prove that Mr. McCord isn't involved. But how do you fit into this? Well, I'm helping Lieutenant Wyatt out because we have reason to think that there's a connection between Alan Spaulding's kidnapping and yours. Yeah, I can tell you that the FBI is interested because of the kidnappings. Now, we picked you because you have everybody's confidence at the McCord house. And so you're the natural one to, the logical one to help us. Oh, well, uh, I'll have to think about this. I... Then think it over very carefully. And uh, it's only fair to warn you that if you decide to help us, you'd be putting your life in further jeopardy. You'd be taking a definite risk. I would. There's obviously an element of danger involved. Danger? Mm -hmm. Oh. Well... I don't know, but if it would help Mr. McCord... Yeah, well, you take your time and you think it over. But don't talk about it to anybody. We'll keep this just between ourselves. And if you do decide to help us, you can just call me at police headquarters. If you decide not to, we'll understand. We don't mean to put any pressure on you. We want it to be a voluntary gesture on your part. Well, if I did, it would just prove that you're wrong because he's never done anything bad to anybody. He's a wonderful man. Well, we hope you're right, Nola. Yeah, and uh, we hope we'll hear from you in a day or two. Huh? Okay. Uh, thanks for talking to us and for the coffee. It's fine. Oh, oh, you're welcome. Nice meeting you. Yeah. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Me, a spy? For the police? The FBI? What? what I want to do is have Nola and her baby back here with us. As a matter of fact, I went to her today and asked her to return. Very well. But we have to be careful with what's happening now on the third floor. I do not want to hear about that bloody third floor anymore. I've been living in hell for the past two years. Do I, do I have to go on and spend my entire life making up for past mistakes? It's just that I don't want Nola or anyone else to discover our secrets. Unless, of course, you plan to go to the police and tell them about your entire past. No, I can't afford to do that. Once we start telling the truth, everything will come out. Everything. Exactly. Sometimes I feel I should go up to my bedroom and destroy all those tapes. They have all the information that could destroy my one reason for being on this earth. You know how I don't like to hear you talk that way. Well, it's the truth. All I want is to spend a little time with Nola and her baby. I want to pretend that we have some kind of future together. Is that asking too much? I understand. But if you choose to live in a dream world, even for a little while, you must realize that if that dream comes to an end, it will be harder for you. Yes, Miss. Mr. McCord, uh, Miss Mancini wants to see you. I told her you were... I insist on seeing you, Quentin. 
I've just come from police headquarters, and I must talk to you. Alone. Very well. Mrs. Renfield? Come along. I came to warn you, Quinton. Your life, your entire future is going to be in jeopardy if you don't do something about covering your tracks up. The police are beginning to ask some very dangerous questions. over the phone. I had to, you know, I had to meet you somewhere. And I'm gonna have to tell people that I brought the baby, I brought the baby in for a checkup so they won't know that I met you. Oh, all of a sudden you're not allowed Shh. to meet me? I can't meet anybody. I can't talk. Somebody may be watching. Somebody could be watching right now. Nola. Are you all right? I mean, I know a high fever can affect a person. Gracie, did you ever see Mata Hari? You know Mata Hari. She Mata was... who? <clears throat> Mata Hari. She was a spy. Greta Garbo played her in a movie. Why are we talking about that? Because she did what she did because of love. She didn't mean to betray anybody, but... Oh, I can't betray my country or my president. I can't... No, what are you talking about? The FBI has asked me to... They've asked me to spy on Mr. McCord. You're kidding. Oh. And I might just have to do it, Gracie, to prove that he's innocent. I mean, in some strange way, he... Well, he needs me, and that's what love is all about, isn't it? That will be all. I'll call you if we need anything else. Yes, Mrs. Arendt. Thank you. Aren't you leaving too? No. I want to hear what it is you have to say. Then you may as well hear it all. It seems the police called in uh, Helena for questioning. They asked her about Jamie Loomis. It seems Mr. Loomis kept a diary. <laughs> 